Today we're entering the realm of tiki cocktails, and blue ones at that, one of my favorite colors. But can a blue tiki drink be any good? My name is David Edwards, and welcome to Booze on the Rocks. We're going to make the Blue Reef. Now this cocktail comes out of Beach Bum Berry's Grog Log Cocktail Book, and I've seen it made on two different channels, John Dot Drinks and The Educated Barfly. Both of them have slightly different opinions of what they think it is, whether it's good, bad, or whatever. So let's find out exactly how good it is. Now this is a simple shaken cocktail, and we're going to start with our shaking glass, but put that off to the side because we need a fair amount of lime juice. So what we're just gonna do is we're gonna cut two limes in half, and then what we'll do is we'll squeeze out one and a half ounces or 45 milliliters into the glass. Now this does seem like a lot of lemon juice. And I'll admit, an ounce and a half is a lot, so I'm curious to see how it's actually going to work out. But we're going to start with a little bit of Galliano vanilla. Uh, you could use the uh, authentic Galliano, but it's not something I can get. And we're going to start with a half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Now your Galliano will give you those hints of vanilla and a slight sweetness to help offset all of the lime juice. But you need a little bit of punch, and we're going to go with Bacardi Superior White Rum. Uh, use whatever you want, but to keep the color the way you want it, go with a light rum, that's my recommendation, uh, especially until you've had one, so we know exactly what we're getting into and how we want to adjust the flavors. And we're going to use two ounces or 60 milliliters. So after you've added yourself a little bit of the rum of your choice, we're going to make this blue with, of course, blue curacao but we're not going to use just a quarter of an ounce or a half ounce we are going to use a total of an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters now this is very blue so far and it looks really good but if you take a look at the amount of fluids in there you have to realize that you're going to need a big glass so just think about that when you are making a glass what we are going to do now though is put in a bunch of crushed ice and what we'll do is we will shake this for a good 10 seconds or so, uh, but we're going to sort of whip shake it. We don't need to shake it super hard. Because the ice is crushed, it will dilute faster and chill just that little bit faster. So give it a push and shake it. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes, like so. Now what we are going to do is put this a fantastic looking pint glass. I wanted to be a little fancy today. Totally up to you. But what you'll need to do is fill this about halfway with some ice. That way um, you'll have some ice in there because we are going to free pour the rest of this directly in. Yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do is fill this with a little bit more Brushed ice. Add as much as you want. I'm just filling it in here because I like the way it looks. It'll keep my glass really, really cold and my drink cold. And you know what? Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Now what we're going to do is garnish this with a spent husk of a lime, just like so. Grab yourself a straw, give it a try, and see how it tastes. Mmm. Okay. That is very good. There's a lot of lime. So the lime overpowers everything but just slightly. If you were to cut that lime juice down by half an ounce, I think this would be a much more balanced cocktail. It's really good, it's pretty to look at, it's perfect for tourist season at a beach. Now if you really like blue drinks, take a look up here and I'll show you some more ones. I sounded stupid, show you some more ones. <laughs> show you some more cocktails. <laughs> 